Hello everybody and welcome your faces back to another episode of CryptoJet where today we're going to be discussing Ethereum once again. So this is like a weekly, bi-weekly market rundown of Ethereum and as you already know you're at the channel that provides the most clear and concise analysis on the market. So if you do enjoy my videos let me know by hitting the like button and asking me a question down in the comments down below. So we've talked last time that Ethereum is actually following this perfect line of growth. You know it's not too uh, vertical, it's not too exponential, it's very, very nice and healthy looking growth, but we have actually broken down from it, establishing a price floor at around the $1,700 mark. Now, we're going to move on to the lower time frames and see something a little bit more interesting as well. However, currently we can see a very nice bullish pressure emerging, and I can see Ethereum reaching the 2.6k mark uh, once again, so continuing this so-called consolidation within within this area, right? Uh, ideally so, we would continue the consolidation even further, so between the 2.6 and 3k mark, because establishing an even tighter consolidation means that in the future uh, there is more chance for the price to actually break out, because this would look somewhat of like a, you know, bullish flag or something formation, which is a very, very nice bullish signal, so uh, it's very likely that the price actually keeps rallying harder again. So I can see in the past few days, few weeks, um, after this uh, two month long consolidation, I can see crypto actually coming back and becoming more and more alive and looking more and more bullish. Uh, and uh, so let's just move on to the four hour time frame just to establish something a little bit, a little bit, a little bit nicer, right? So what we can see right here is a broken downtrend. So we see a clear downtrend. And we see very nice bullish pressure breaking it. So what can we see uh, in the future? So in the next few days, we can see a retracement back into this trend line and then a movement uh, upwards, continuing to make higher highs and higher lows as we have for the past uh, few weeks, actually a few days or whatever. So we see a very clear uptrend now, the same as we saw a very clear downtrend right before establishing a price floor around this area right here. So what I would keep an eye out for is a retracement back into this area, potentially into the Fibonacci bands, um, the 61%. And uh, from there on for short term investing, it should be a very nice buying opportunity. However, for long term investing, you know, buying in here, buying in here, buying in here, it doesn't really matter because this difference is very small compared to, you know, the ultimate target of, let's say, five six k uh usd you know this is a very small percentage and it doesn't really matter when you're investing for the long term so thank you guys for joining in for another video and i will see you all in the next one adios